of that. There we go. Welcome to Coffee Talk, y'all. Found this one last night on Steam. We are a barista in the fantasy world full of different races of different types of fantasy people. And uh, we'll be serving them coffee. Because the schedule is not helping them this work. It would be cute if one day you and Ari could do a stream together with both models. We see cozy on screen together. It would, I, I would like to figure that out someday. That is for sure. Um, yeah, I just needed like an extra pair, I think set like a head, an extra set of headphones. Cause I know I could split the audio cable. I just have to figure out how to do that first. <laughs> All right, let's uh, jump in. Hope everybody's having a good morning today. Seattle, 2020. Hello, Gito. City filled with dreams and madness. We need a backup webcam too, one to capture each of you. It wouldn't have to be a crazy expensive one. I don't already have one. I do have another one somewhere. I don't know if it's as good of the quality as the Logitech one that I have. How's your mind going? It's going good so far. I got a cup of coffee. <clears throat> Hanging out with you and all you peeps. Playing a brand new game. Taking a little morning break from the DBD. <laughs> you know? Aw, oh, thank you. A time when the great <laughs> a time when the great war between races is but a footnote in history. Captures movement. Okay. Too much. <laughs> no worries, Mary. I wish avatars would stop blowing stitch the fuck up. <laughs> I don't know why he's doing that. Uh, a time when the great war between races of, is but a footnote in history. A time when anyone can dream of being whatever they want to be. And how snapped he is. And have those dreams crushed before they can even be discussed. But still, it is a place and time where anything can happen. My name is Game Sign. It is when the elves have left the forest to build their startups. When the dwarves have emerged from their caves to start their automotive empires. When the orcs have put down their axes and started using computers to improve their lives. And when humans live among them, as driven as ever. It is a city that holds many dreams and stories of its people. Most of these stories are left untold. Some few find solace in the embrace of bricks and wood and glass. We are told over drinks and then take up residence in some strange mem stranger's memories. In one corner of the city stands a coffee shop. A place that is only open when the sun is sleeping. A place where people share their stories. And these are their stories. Welcome to Coffee Talk. Tuesday, September 22nd, 2020.
Well, oh, it's you. Freya, this is Freya. I know, just as a quick, sh I did look at this a little bit last night. They give you a little phone screen here to keep track of, I guess, your uh, interactions with people, in a way, sort of. So we know we we know Freya, Georgie, and Gala are some characters already. And then um, the brew pad here shows different types of cups of coffee and drinks that we'll be able to make as we unlock stuff, I suppose. And then we have a tracker here for messages, so if we need to go back and read someone's message. I'm going to pause menu over here. It's calm as usual. We've got a slight problem, though. What happened? My supplier made some logistical errors. I don't have half my ingredients today. Man, that's a bummer. Don't worry. I can still serve the caffeine you desperately need. That's good to hear. Let me set things up first. You're our first customer after all. Don't worry, take your time. I'm a writer, not an editor. So I'm used to taking things slow. A writer's block again. You got that right. What are you writing now? Do you remember my plan to... Ooh. Pardon the interruption. The machine is ready. You want your triple shot espresso now? Yes, please. <gasps> and if you forget how to make it, just check your phone, okay? Anyway, I really need that triple shot espresso. And then this it 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 will be where there will be like a bunch of ingredients and stuff. Um, where you can, you can mix these different things together to make the chest out and find different drinks. She wants espresso, so we just simply go coffee, 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 and brew. Then we could tra and then you can trash a, apparently a coffee or an order five times, or you could serve it the way it looks. Serve it. One cup of triple shot espresso. Special for my only customer tonight. Mmm, that aroma. Ah, exactly what I need. Anyway, where were we? Your plan to do something? Yes, that. Not that I hate writing stories for the newspaper, you know? But it seems like the right time for something bigger. So, a novel? Yes. It sounded so simple when I was making the plan. At least you still have your job. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, y'all. I forgot to ask. Tito, how are you doing today? And Mary, what are you, how are you? How is your morning going so far as well? Sorry, I forgot to ask. I hope you guys are having a good one today. On this Monday morning. At least you still have your job. In case things go airy. Ari? Ari? Airy? It's been asking. I wish I was still asleep, but I had to work today. <laughs> I hear you. I probably could have slept in more too, but I wanted to get a morning stream going. The kids are in the other room right now, watching One Piece, just relaxing, and we're hanging out. 
be taking me and have tomorrow off. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. Taking the half day for the holiday. We unfortunately don't get the day off at my job. I mean, I have the day off because of my usual work schedule. Like work, my work week is Wednesday to Sunday. So I have Tuesday off anyways. Not that I really, really have anything planned because nobody plans anything anymore. Um, we don't get it off because summertime is our busiest season. And as a caveat to that, we also get two completely full uh, weeks off a year paid. So at the end of the summer, right before we transition, uh, once summer is over and we shut down, we get a whole week paid off, which we'll see a lot more of me in that week too, when I'm sh during that uh, time period, but it's usually one right, the, right between August and September, and then another one right between December and January, where we could just get a whole last week off paid. So it kind of makes up for it. Raising Dito. These things go ahead. <laughs> uh, did I say something wrong? No, you were right. <laughs> you said something I should have thought about myself. What are you talking about? You know who owns the Evening Whispers? GRA Media, right? Yes. They are also, they are, <clears throat> and they are also the, the biggest book publisher in the country. So when an opportunity presented itself, I took it. And what do you mean by opportunity? Well... I bumped into one of the big one of the big guys in the elevator. So naturally I pitched my book idea. And Come on, don't look at me like that. Are you for real? Yeah, yeah, I know. It was such a stupid thing to do. So how did they react? Thankfully, he'd seen my short stories, so he challenged me. If I can get a draft ready in a month, we'll pull some strings and get the fiction publishing division to sign me up for a publishing deal. Nice. That sounds great. What about your job at the Evening Whispers? Do you have time to do both? That's the hard part. I've been secretly working on the novel during office hours. And I'm falling behind on the newspaper's deadlines. Uh-oh. Cat girl. Sorry. If she finds out, she'll probably kick me out. Ouch. Well, at least you got a month <laughs> you got a month to finish the initial draft. That was last week. <laughs> uh huh. Again, don't look at me like that. How far along are you? Uh. <laughs> I assume the number of words you have written is not too far from zero. Hey, that's rude. I've written some stuff, you know. May I see it? Um, well... It was so bad that- It was so bad that, well, after reading it... I decided to just delete everything immediately. So, zero. Uh, yes. I really need to finish it in at most two weeks. 
Then I'll use the extra week to polish and do some editing. Sounds like a plan. If you can pull it off. I know, I know, you don't need to be so cynical about it. That's why I'm here today. Hoping to find some inspiration. Some of my best short stories here, you know. Really? Glad this place could be of service. Oh, it looks like someone's coming. Hello. Welcome. Hi there. Hello. Good evening. Uh, for here, miss? Yes, please. I'm not really sure what to order, though. What do you recommend? It depends highly on your mood. I'm just here to meet my boyfriend. Not planning to be awake all night. But definitely no coffee. How about something chocolatey? Perfect for this weather. That's a good idea, actually. Thank you. You're welcome. Anything with chocolate in it, please. So, cocoa powder? Cocoa powder, cocoa powder? Oh, chocolate? No. This was, I, I, I was testing it out last night, and this is about as far as I got into it before. I was like, yeah, I definitely want to play this on stream. But I did chocolate and milk milk. And, uh, brew. Chocolate latte. Perfect. Oh, there was a latte art thing? Oh, I missed that. Thank you. It's so warm. So you're waiting for your boyfriend? Yes, he should be here soon. Look at you now. Went from, you went from empty to three customers in one night. I thought this place would be more crowded. Considering it's the only coffee shop that's still open after midnight around here. Because it's the only coffee shop that's still open past, that still opens past midnight, it's mostly empty. Oh. Now that you mention it. Is it good for business having a coffee shop only open at night? Definitely not. Yep, what she said. Then why? I just love doing it. And there's always someone longing for a warm drink at this hour. That's fascinating. Pardon me for asking, but how can you survive running the coffee shop like this? That's a secret. Coffee talk? Hi, Mel. Yeah. Welcome in. Grab a cup and let's hang out. Consider me your barista for today. This morning, at least. I don't have coffee. <laughs> It's okay, but we'll send we'll get you a cup at some point. Kronos is here to damn rich, that's the secret. Yeah, right. Oh really? He's exaggerating. Don't worry about it, Kronos can manage. I'm sure this place isn't going bankrupt anytime soon. So you'll, you'll still have a weird, quiet place to meet up at night. That's good to hear. By the way, are you regular here? Don't worry, I don't, I don't really have anywhere else to go. I'm a writer who works best at night in a coffee shop. Not so many options for that. Ah, no wonder. 
pretty good writer, you know. You can find some of her stories in the Evening Whispers. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> wow, that's really interesting. What kind of things do you cover? I cover stories of people around town. Personal, interesting, weird stories. I also contribute to their short stories. I love their fiction. You wrote those stories? Thank you. <laughs> I wrote most of them, but not all. That's so cool. Then are you here to write a new piece? I should be. But I don't even know what to write about. Ooh. Welcome. Bye. Sorry to keep you waiting. It's okay. I had a nice chat with the fine folks here. Hi there. Hello. Hi, would you like to order something? Hmm. Surprise me. What kind of order is that? Well, I don't really know what to order. Do you have any preferences, sir? Something bitter to keep me awake with milk. Oh, and draw some latte art on the top. All right, what if we go? Coffee, coffee, milk. Let me say baru. Cappuccino. Latte art. Oh, cool. Um. Oh wait, pour milk. Uh. Oh, that's neat. Um. Reset. <laughs> Invert? I'm not very good with art. <laughs> nope. <laughs> um... We do a spiral. Oh, that looks terrible too. Big draw of milk. Big draw of milk. I don't like that either. It's just I just that just looks terrible. Now where do we go? Barista. Mm. Oh. <laughs> uh, how do they do that? How do they? Uh... I 
It's, ter it's terrible. <laughs> hmm. Can I request a, a white chocolate ice latte, please? And thank you. Yes. I think I, maybe when you get when if, if I get enough ingredients, maybe. <laughs> um, let's try. Oh, wait, no, it's still inverted. each other use the edit tool to swipe up the middle but like uh have you played this before mel i don't like that It's like a fish. Serve it. Here's your order. Is that what you call a latte? <laughs> That's cute. Perfect. Anyway, I was distracted by some work. Plus, there's the rain. It's okay, Bailey's having a nice chat with them his name is Bailey or maybe not oh yeah I haven't properly introduced myself I'm Bailey's oh my where are my manners I haven't introduced myself either my name is Lua Lua okay hi I'm Freya nice to meet you nice to meet both of you I'm Kronos Hey, did you know that Freya here is a writer for the Evening Whispers? Oh, really? I've done some work for them a, a few times. Oh, what kind of work? I'm a freelance designer and illustrator. I've done some characters, characters, yeah, characters. God, I can't even say that word properly. And infographics for the paper. I assume you were in contact with Steve? Yep, he's a nice guy to work with. Oh, really? No, he isn't. But I've dealt with worse clients. Way worse. Yeah, I'm glad he's in design and visual. In the, I'm glad he's in the design and visuals department. Wouldn't be able to stand working with him directly. Haha, <laughs> yeah, come on. He's tough to deal with, but definitely not the worst. Oh, oh of course. No matter how deep you go, there's always another layer of hell. How do you usually deal with bad customers here? The only bad customers this late at night are lost drunks or criminals. That sounds really bad. Nah, they're too easy to handle. That's because you're good with your fists. Not as good as your coffee making skill though. Thank you, I'll take that as a compliment. You're welcome. Anyway, I really need to start writing whatever it is that I'm going to write. So I'll leave you two in the hands of our friendly neighborhood barista. Where are you going to write? Oh, not far. Just over at that table in the corner. 
next to the windows. That's my spot. Oh, okay. Have fun. <laughs> I'll try. Good luck. Thanks. Ray is storyteller. Let's see, we have Lua Biz Dev at Discovery National Capital and is the freelance designer. And number one pumpkin spice fan. Lorca M S Passage Twizy. I don't know what that says. I think I don't I don't know what that says. Do you? So we moved other two other seats too. Nah, here is good. Okay then. So how was your day? It was fine. Work was nothing special. I finished my proposal early so I could get out of the office. Plus, my boss was in a really good mood all day. I thought your boss was always happy-go-lucky person. Well, he is. But today he was happier than usual. I'm not sure what happened, but it was great to see him smile so much. What about you? Any problems with your latest client? Yeah, this one is a pain in the ass. You know those memes that depict terrible clients? Well, she fits all the bills. I could go on forever complaining about her, but that won't help me a bit. You should make a meme about her. And, lo and lose my current project for a minute of laughter? That might be worth it. You should ask Kronos here about how to deal with annoying clients. Oh yeah? How do you usually deal with annoying customers? Ones you don't need your fists to take care of. I do have my own methods. But it wouldn't be wise to talk about customers to other customers. Now that's a good, one good lesson to learn for the day. It's just like, hmm. She looks annoyed. Your parents? Yes. So you've talked to them? I did. It didn't end well? No. What did they say? A lot. They won't give us a chance at all? Anyone but an elf. Ooh. Ooh, we're getting a little, uh, a little racy here. I don't... That's what they said. How about you? More or less the same. I got into a fight with my old man. That's why I'm staying at Farron's, at Farron's place now. I kicked you out? You don't have to do this, you know. They're your family. I can't stand them even one more second. I can't stand even being... I can't stand even one more second being a part of them. I might not have a stable income, but I can, I can manage. But still... You don't know what they said about you last night. I'm sorry. What did they say about me? my race, I assume. Forget it. I want to know. The same old shit. Mumbling about how elves are holy creatures. Or about our immortality. And how about even if I outlive you? What? Nothing. About how if you outlive me? No other elves would want to be with an elf? 
that's already been tainted by a lowly succubus. Oh, she's a succubus, okay. Exactly what they said. So this is it then. The end of our relationship? It doesn't have to be. You know our families will never agree. You can just continue like this. What do you mean? They don't need to know we're still dating. Jesus! Hold on, I have a message here. Probably f work or something. Give me one sec. I'll be right back. And we're back. Ah, welcome to a brand new beginning, you sorry shits. Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh, they like asking me about the weekend and then they don't respond anymore. <sighs> I'm just trying to make sure nothing bad happened. Who the uh, elf? Let <laughs> <laughs> them knowing. And then what? Oh, Negan. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. You're not wrong. I love the, the, F, the five head. <laughs> and then what? Do you want to? Do you want to be hiding our relationship for the rest of eternity? We're not like humans, you know. We can't just elope. And you won't get permission because you're too old. Well, I don't care about their permission. I'm glad that I'm glad to I'm I'll be glad to sever my family ties if I have to. I can't let you do that. You lose your immortality. I get to spend my life with you. I don't mind. Oh, I don't mind a bit. Lua, you're making this hard for both of us. Do you feel happy when you're with me? Of course I do. Then you don't need any more reasons. You know we're perfect for each other. You don't even have to, you don't even need to look deep down. Trust me, we can do this together. I can't think about this clearly right now. We'll talk later. Oh, wait. Ooh. Sorry, you had to listen to our problems. It's all right. This coffee shop has seen all kinds of stories. I do hope yours will have a happy ending. Yeah, I hope so too. Do you have any alcohol? <laughs> Sadly, no. That's a bummer. Oh, do you have anything that's warm and can calm me down? Do you like green tea lattes? Green tea lattes? I'll take one. Uh, let's make sure we use the right one here. Green tea, milk, milk, okay. Aparoo.
latte art. Let's try this again, huh? It's green. This is terrible. And here it comes again. All right, BRB. All right, back to the latte making. Um, where do we go? That. Let me go. Like that. And then we go. Let me pour some milk over here. Pour some milk over here. It looks like a horrid face. Ah, nope. Can I do like. Nope, 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 nope. I need to go down, right? Smiley face. <laughs> Here's your green tea latte. This is good. Thank you for this. By the way, are you married? Me? No. Actually, yes. You have someone you love? Yes. I love this coffee shop. <laughs> Even look at it. <laughs> Do they ever? They just. <laughs> this coffee show but I'm sure that's not the answer you're looking for eh, I didn't really have any expectations man out of all the people in the whole world why did I fall for her you can't choose who you fall in love with you can if you try hard enough at least that's what my old man said he is one pretentious elf. He really is one pretentious elf. But I guess all of them are. Entitled, pretentious, immortal douchebags. <laughs> Entitled, pretentious, immortal douchebags. <laughs> That's funny. Eternity to learn and change. Or an eternity to or an eternity to be an eternal asshole. <clears throat> anyway, I need to go now. And probably drink myself under the sun under while the sun sorry. Anyway, I need to go now and probably drink myself under until the sun rises. There's a while until the sunrise. More time for me to drink then. See you around. See you around too, Miss Freya. Thank you. Do visit again. Freya, uh. You were listening from the corner. 
Yes. Poor souls. Hope they find a way to be together. Me too. Anyway, I need to leave. I have to get up early, earlier than usual tomorrow. Okay. I think I'm going to close the shop up after this. That's pretty early. I know. After the rest of the deliveries come in tomorrow, I'll open as usual. Okay, have a good night then. You too. Sugar, spice, spicy, sweet, and natural bliss in a cup. very relaxing i'm really i really like this wednesday september 23rd 2020 the zombie virus from africa may have reached seattle seattle groceries distribution problems harm local restaurants fire plans to enforce stricter regulations to manage illegal immigration fire f-i-r-e Start the day. Hmm? Freya! Good evening. Good gracious. What is wrong with you? You just enter like a normal customer? I'm sorry. I'm so excited to share this with you. What are you talking about? I know what to write for my novel. Is it one of your impulsive temporary ideas again? Hey, don't be rude. I'm ser I'm being serious here. Okay, okay. Tell me, what are you going to write about? This coffee shop. What? I'm going to write stories about this coffee shop and the people who come here. Hmm. Are you for real? Yes. And what if I say you can't do that? I'm not asking permission. That's like a breach of a customer's personal lives, you know? Relax, I know that. I just need some inspiration from this place. These stories themselves will be loosely based on what I hear and see. Loosely based? Knife Walker novel versus movie level loosely, loosely based. The old one? Of course I'm talking about the old one. Hmm. That's, all, <laughs> that's already very different, you know. You can't get more different than that. I mean, it's not like I could tell you not to write about a coffee shop, right? No, you can't. Although it, you can, <laughs> you can just ban me from coming. Okay, you're banned. Huh? What? Just kidding. I wouldn't do that to my loyal customer. Very funny. Thanks for not banning me. <laughs> anyway. I'm really excited to see who's going to come tonight. I wonder what kind of stories they'll have. First customer. Hello, officer. Georgie. Good evening, y'all. Good evening, officer Georgie. Hey, Pop. Seems like you're in high spirits this evening, Miss Freya. And please, Kronos, no need to be that formal with me. Haha, we're both on duty here. Hence the formalities. You are as stiff as ever. 
Anyway, I have a shift tonight. So I'll need the usual. You have all the ingredients today? Not everything, but more than yesterday. Except for tea, I'm out of tea. You still remember my favorite, right? Coffee with a hint of sweetness. You got it right. Make sure not to use milk. Yeah. Thanks to your Toma de Jail profile, everyone knows you're lactose intolerant, Georgie. Anyway, a cup of sweet, healthy coffee, please. All right, what do we got here? Let's go coffee, coffee. And uh, what was that? Ginger. Sweet. Mm. Uh, fruit. Little bit of honey in the hot coffee. Serve it. Coffee with honey for the man on duty. Not everyone can manage this combination as well as you. Thank you. By the way, I didn't order anything myself. Provide me with service like you gave the old pop here, please. What are you having? You'll need to ask, huh? You never know. Espresso, of course. The one and only espresso. Mm. Coffee, 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 coffee. Bro. Serve it up. Starless night for the green haired fairy. She's a fairy? I'm not sure whether that's a compliment or not. <laughs> this is perfect. So, how's everything going at the paper, Miss Freya? As usual. Awful. making a risky deal with her boss yeah pretty much what kind of deal a possibly life-altering deal a very dangerous one at that okay a deal she regretted Not that much. Oh, seriously? Care to share the details properly? You tell him. She's secretly using her working hours to do something else. Something like writing her own novel. Georgie. <laughs> you got balls, I can tell you that. She does. Gee, thank you. How's the leap of faith going so far? It's not slowing down, that's for sure. I haven't seen any hate safe haystacks to fall into. Good luck with that. Don't worry, she's not losing her job. At least not yet. Her life will be pretty hard if she messes this thing up, though. Thank you for the reminder. So yeah, as Krona said, my editor-in-chief doesn't know, know about it yet. But my novel is going to be published by our parent company anyway. So technically, I'm still doing work for the company. She'll be really pissed if she finds out, though. Wait, is stealing time a crime? Technically, I might have to arrest you. Hey, you do it all the time, too. Those are just coffee breaks. 
Sometimes they might take longer than they're meant to. But still, poppy breaks. You make me feel worse by saying that. You should feel bad. <laughs> Stop adding salt to the wound, okay? It's just a fact. <laughs> I'm not sure whether this will make you feel better or not. But if your writing career goes up in flames, the police force is always looking for people with balls as big as yours. <laughs> Just don't mention that you like to do other things during working hours. I want to say thanks. But I feel like I should be offended. I'm sure you'll do just fine, Miss Freya. Do you have any idea what you're going to write? I have, actually. Oh, good. What will it be about? A coffee shop and the stories people tell inside. Georgie Poe. You're letting her do that? You're looking at me now. Like, what? <laughs> There's no stopping her. What's wrong? Please don't write about any shady looking police officers love to take breaks more than they should inside of the coffee shop near their post. <laughs> <laughs> I will definitely write about that police officer. He'll make a good comedic character. Is that a compliment or are you making fun of me, huh? I would call that a compliment. Is it? I don't think so. Hey, what do you have against me tonight? I'm just probably worried about losing customers due to breach of privacy. Makes sense. <laughs> Come on, it's not like I'll be using real names. I'll and I'll dramatize most of things I've heard, of course. That's even worse. Here's the thing. The stories I've heard, they'll only be inspiration for what I write. By the way, as someone stationed here, I assume you've heard a lot of stories from the people around here, right? No. Come on. Nope. You just chugging away at that cigarette right now? Nope. No, 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 no. You helped me once, once with the stories I wrote for the paper. The one about the secretly rich beggar hanging around the block. I'm sure you can give me other interesting tips. I loved you more than once, actually. What, really? Now it's my turn to say, come on. Which stories are you talking about? You asked for information about the busker. The one who's playing his guitar and always got a rose with him. Oh yeah, that guy. Yeah, poor, yes, poor guy. Hearing about your girlfriend passing during an investigation is... I don't know. It's hard. He took it quite well, to be honest. It was hard, but at least you gave him closure. He never complained that you used his story for the paper. I got his blessing before giving it to the editors. Well, at least he's become more popular since the article was published. More income for someone in his line of work. Yeah, the rose has become some kind of prop for him now. Anyway. What now?
Sorry guys, one second. BRB. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Very <Maria>, thank you. <laughs> anyway. Back to the topic. Any hot tips? Okay. About this one girl. Oh, tell me, tell me. Lately, this girl's been coming to a coffee shop in the area more than before. She's pretty weird. I don't know what her deal is. But she has bright green hair. <laughs> oh, come on! I was excited to hear about something real. <laughs> you think you're not real? Wow, that went deep fast. <laughs> Faster than my career going downhill. Hey, what's with the sudden mood? Yeah, cheer up, girl. Uh, sorry, I'm having mood swings because of the pressure. You'll do just fine. I mean, you're great with your short stories. By the way, why this coffee shop? Um, because I spend my time here, I guess. A lot of my time here. And then there's this couple that visited the coffee shop yesterday. What about them? They're going through a pretty hard time together. You know, different races, different cultures. Families don't approve. When I heard their story, I kind of felt their pain. What's happening to them? What's happening to them happens to a lot of people. It's been told in fictional form countless times before. But it's always an interesting topic to discuss. Are the regulars here? 
The girl visited this place before, if I'm not mistaken. She was with her co-workers or clients. Excuse me. Helping her friends sober up, I guess. Who gave people coffee to sober up? Of course not. Some folks request coffee, but, but I recommend against it. I usually end up giving them tea, hot chocolate, or just plain water. That's nice of you. I hope they don't get pissed about the wrong order. Yeah, that happens sometimes. Good for you. Anyway, look at the time. It's time for my shift. Oh, yeah. Go on, do your job, old man. Don't forget to share anything interesting you hear with me. Let's not make this a habit. Can't promise you that. Hey then, see you later, everyone. Take care, Officer Georgie. Later. Oh shit, I just realized I need to make a phone call. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Shit, shit, shit. BRB again, I'm sorry. Okay. <clears throat> I think I need to go back to my writing. No offense, but I need to concentrate like crazy. So I'll move to my usual corner. Good luck with writing. in Seattle, a lactose intolerant cop. <laughs> For a less short story writer, you can read my surreal and weird short stories at the Evening Whisper, idolize and aspire to be like Gil Naiman, Gil Naiman or Maruki Haruku, Harukami. And don't forget to keep yourself hydrated. Here, take this glass of water. Oh, you're just the best, Cronus. You're welcome. Okay, off to the world of imagination I go. Go on. Should you do for the experiment? Ah, someone is coming. Welcome, Mr. Gala. Hi, Kronos. Dude's been through some stuff. Who are you? Can we sit here? Sure thing, sir. Like David. <laughs> yeah, right, Dito. <laughs> is the place you recommended? You don't like it? Hmm. It's fine. I know it's not like the coffee shops you're used to in LA. But. Kala. It's fine. Uh, sorry to interrupt. Do you want to order anything? Yes. What do you want to drink? You first. Okay. Anything with coffee and ginger, please. So it goes some coffee. Is there like a recipe for something that's like specific? Doesn't really look like it, huh? Okay. Let's go coffee, coffee, ginger. Real? Chuck, chuck, chuck. Jad, Jad to Brook. Serve it. Everybody's ready, sir. Thank you. And how about you, sir? What would you like to order? 
Is it good? I like it. Not sure if it'll be to your liking or not. Okay. I'll have whatever he's having. Alright then. Another coffee coffee ginger. I'll brew it up. Chop 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 chop. Here's your order. Hmm, good choice. Anyway, how's the town treating you so far? Same old. I've been surprised seeing so many changes after just a few years, though. I'm trying to figure out, is, this, is he going to be a vampire? And are you, I get the feeling like this one's a vampire, and this one's a werewolf. That's just what I think, right? Now. I'm just what I'm looking at. That's what I'm thinking. These things changed a lot in 20 years. Even this coffee shop, I believe, was a bar back then. When did you open this coffee shop? We opened around six years ago, Mr. My name is Hyde. Oh no! Hyde! I might be completely wrong. Like Jekyll and Hyde. Or maybe you're doing just Hyde. Okay. Who knows? Hello, Mr. Hyde. <laughs> um, Gala? Only. Hyde Supermodel. Vegan. Ve <laughs> Oh yeah, I was right about vampire. <laughs> Vegan vampire? So, so is he like bunk, bunkula, bunkula? He, he like sucks the essence of vegetables. Professional model CP. What is a CP? Okay, sure. Ginger presides over the ground coffee at the bottom of the cup. Originally from Indonesia. Interesting. From what I gathered, you're from LA, right? I am. I used to live here decades ago, though. Brings you back to Seattle. Wait, hold on. Did Gala's thing say something about what he does? No, not yet. <laughs> what brings him back? I wonder. This big hunk of a man. I'm here for work. Oh, I'll probably be here for a few weeks. He travels a lot. Let's see. You two have known each other a long time, I assume? You could say that. Yeah, I think we met it's not so long um, not so long after you got married, right? Oh the, oh he's married. Oh, okay, well excuse anything I made an assumption about. It was around the sixties, I believe. Wow, that was uh, a long time ago. Not for our kind. Wait, if I'm not mistaken. Peace treaty between werewolves and vampires. Yeah, he's a werewolf. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing. It was signed in 1865. So when you guys said you met in the 60s, were you talking about the 1860s? No, we met in the 1960s. We're old by some racist standards. But not that old. Although it's still no, it's still fair to say we haven't seen each other in a long time. I guess 20 years is a long time. This place... This was the place, wasn't it? Where we first met? Yeah, when it was a bar. They moved? Bankrupt. 
Ah, such a pity. Mm hmm. Uh, <laughs> you're happy. You're happy the bar closed down? What's with the smile, if you don't mind? Eh, nothing. I was just wondering. Will history repeat itself? Let me get my phone. repeat itself I certainly hope not I've been coming to your place since you, <laughs> I've been coming to your place since the first week you opened you've got something special here it won't close down anytime soon thank you mr. Gala speaking of it's been quite a while since your visit your last visit Busy at work? Kinda. With the news about that newfound virus going viral, the hospital has been extremely crowded. Is the virus that dangerous? No one is sure about that. But most people are, who come in are just... I don't want to use this word. But they're just paranoid. You're still doing the same job in the same. You're still doing the same job in the same hospital. What was it called? Admission officer. And yes, I'm still hospital admission officer there. Interesting. Oh, he is wearing scrubs. I'm just realizing that. Oh. I should have given you a promotion for your loyalty and long service. They offered me a managerial position, but I declined. I prefer doing this. Huh. To each their own. Anyway, I was wondering, do they still sell legal blood at your hospital? They do. Although people don't need to visit the hospital directly anymore. They can just order it through the Blood Marketplace app. Are they talking about blood lasts? Uh huh. Blood lasts get their supply from the hospital? They can't certify blood on their own. Only hospitals and the Ministry of Health can do that. They're just middlemen with a lot of sales promos. You use it often? Not really. I'm trying a new vegan lifestyle, remember? But I do know the founder of that startup. Oh yeah, how's your vegan diet going? It's not easy, but nothing I can't conquer. Excuse me for asking. But going vegan, do you mean you don't drink blood anymore? I'm glad they're addressing this. Not real blood. Synthetic blood. Okay. Synthetic blood. It's It'd be too complicated to explain. But basically, some scientists are working to make some kind of blood that can satisfy my kind. Without relying on real blood. Considering real blood has some cultural and health concerns. Does it taste the same? More or less, yeah. Isn't it expensive? It is. I can afford it, though. But again, they're still working on it. Trying to make it more affordable for everyone. Hmm. Would synthetic blood taste good? If mixed with other ingredients? Why? I want to start... You want to start selling blood-based drinks? It might attract new customers. 
Especially if he only keeps his fucking coffee shop open at night. That would make sense. Can I do auto? And turn off others. Fair point. Honestly, I don't know if mixing it would taste good. Vampires prefer drinking raw blood. Although some do try experimenting with other things. Mostly booze. I know some mix it with some not so legal substances. You know, a lot. I work in a hospital, remember? <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 slow down. Your monthly fury. Found a less painful method to restrain yourself? Not yet. Always talking about when he goes, a werewolf. But I do know that it's a drink. What kind of a drink? A certain combination of ginger and caffeine. Is that why you ordered your coffee with ginger? Yes, I'm exploring the possibilities. But this drink wasn't the one. I guess there's too much caffeine for it to be the remedy. Why don't you try to use the Yuri sedative available on the market? trust them. Besides, that sedative is too general. Each of us has our own remedy that we need to find. And sometimes the effect effectiveness can change just as we grow older. How effective will this drink be? Enough to calm me down. That's all I need, to be honest. And at least your calming method is only a drink. I heard some werewolves need to do kinky stuff to soothe themselves during their fury. <laughs> kinky stuff. Kind of kinky. Live BDSM. That only happens in porn. Wait, what? It's famous among our kind. You don't have to feel ashamed if you like watching that kind of thing, you know? Hey, a friend told me about it. Well, he was pulling your leg. <laughs> Damn. I mean, having sex as a calming method is pretty common. But normally we stick to vanilla stuff. Come to think of it, it would be pretty brutal doing bondage stuff during the fury. <laughs> Exactly. So continuing with your story, how far along are you in finding the ingredients for your remedy? So far, all I know is it involves ginger and probably something lightly caffeinated, like tea, maybe. You better write that down. <laughs> you, won't want, you, don't, you won't want him wreaking havoc in the coffee shop. We don't have any tea today. But the next time you're visiting, maybe I can try brewing the remedy for you. That would mean a lot. Excuse me for a moment. I'm sorry, I have to go now. There's an emergency at the hospital. I think I'll go back now as well. We can share a cab. All right. Thank you for the drink. I'll probably visit this coffee shop again before I go back. So I'll see you around. Thank you for coming. Take care on your way home. Bye. Bye, Heidengala. Hey, Freya. Are you done with your writing for tonight? 
kind of those two guys kind of reminds me of this video I saw online I would prefer if you didn't start fantasizing <laughs> it's a video of a wolf pup playing with a baby tiger it's nice to see friendships that grow in, in unlikely circumstances oh that video what what video did you think I was talking about you know oh never mind you I was just joking please don't do jokes you're really bad at it anyway it was pretty interesting and productive night but I need but now I need to get some sleep yes please don't forget to get some rest I'll see you again tomorrow I assume Oh, don't wor don't you worry. I will be here tomorrow. Good night, night. Be careful on your way back. Black lemon, a perfect, if unlikely, combination of sour and bitter. Thursday, September 24th, 2020. I just want to save it. Um, despite losing a member, Super Smile's latest album sold a million copies. Vlogging is now part of the curriculum at some private high schools. Stop workplace radical profiling. The Orcish Workers Union demands. You still have brain. <laughs> save game. Uh, all right i'm gonna do a, just just a little bit of coffee talk i kind of want to turn this into a series i like this game and i want to see what else it's offering and I, I know there is an episode two on steam as well but for now that's where i'm going just two hours of toffee, coffee talk on a monday morning i thought would be nice to do but we are gonna go and do a little switch around and switch and play some day by day. Day by day. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, see, there's Coffee Talk, episode two, hibiscus and butterflies. So when we finish this one, maybe we'll get that one next.